What was that cause? Well, do you know that the Irish were not allowed to vote in Ireland? Uh, they weren't allowed to be seated in the parliament there in, in Dublin. And so some of the goals of the reform that was laid out were not only the right to vote, but the right to have a seat. So you could have someone that you chose, someone from your own religion, to be uh, seated in, in, in parliament there. And uh, there were some of these basic ideas that were promoted by uh, Samuel Nielsen, by the Northern Star newspaper, and uh, by uh, people like Theobald uh, uh, Wolf Tone and Lord Edward Fitzgerald and others that uh, found themselves eventually united in this cause. Well, what was the reaction? <coughs> The reaction to these things was violent. One of the things that was done is that the newspaper press was destroyed. No freedom of the press where they lived at that time. These are the things that we value, some of the things that we fought the American Revolution over. Freedom of assembly, freedom of speech, freedom of the press, and all of these were being denied across the boards. And one of the advantages that the English had in ruling Ireland was dividing the country into two separate groups, the Protestants and the Catholics. Have you ever looked at the Gulf War and looked at the Kurds up in the north and then the Shia Muslims and then you have another kind of a Muslim group and there are all these different zones there? And have you ever wondered, well, why don't they just split it up into three zones and then they'll all be at peace? Well, there's a very simple reason for that. America <laughs> follows now the old English policy that you never leave a group of people united. You always separate them into different groups and get those groups fighting against each other. And while they're fighting against each other, then you just move them in any direction that you want to. And that's what was done in, uh, in Ireland. The authorities were given carte blanche uh, the rule of law was set aside so that magistrates and police officers could beat or brutalize, uh, even rape and murder people uh, at will, almost, and they would look the other way. And so the movement that started as a movement for reform ended up in a revolution. And I think that's always the case. Whenever human rights are denied, especially basic justice, the rule of law, is different from this group than that group. When you bottle up reform, inevitably you end up with revolution. And that's what happened. Uh, Lord Fitzgerald uh, was, uh, they said, look, take this young man by all means, get him out of the country and, and he'll be safe. But Fitzgerald refused. And so, because of his revolutionary activities, he was put, uh, there was a, a, a warrant out for his arrest. And eventually, uh, they, they caught him when he was sick. He was uh, betrayed, incidentally, by a Roman Catholic lawyer. Uh, that might be the beginning of the expression, first we kill all the lawyers. I don't know. <laughs> but he was betrayed by a, by a lawyer. And they, they found him where he was staying while he was on his sick bed. And that's where things really became violent. Rather than submit to arrest, Lord Fitzgerald pulled out a dagger and uh, began to slash and stab and wound up beaten to the floor by the butts of the soldiers' rifles. In an attempt to free Lord Fitzgerald, uh, Samuel Nielsen, the peaceful Presbyterian, the one who was trying to accomplish reform, peaceful reform. One of the goals of the United Irishmen was uh, not just to unite Roman Catholics and Protestants together as Irishmen and get rid of the other labels, but to do this peacefully. But ultimately that could not be accomplished and he saw it. He was reconnoitering in order to free uh, Lord Fitzgerald, who was being kept in prison without medical care. And the consequence was that he was wounded and imprisoned, and eventually he was allowed to be uh, uh, sent overseas. 
alienated from his country. And I think he went first to the Netherlands. Appropriately, his first burial place was in the Dutch cemetery over here. And, um, but it was as a result of that attempt to free the, uh, his lordship that he was eventually kicked out of Ireland.